This video is for learning game B3 and this is about policy. In this particular video we're looking at defining responsibilities. Specification says we need to know who is responsible for what, how to report concerns and reporting to staff or employees. So who exactly is responsible for what? In an organisation, there are specific people responsible for different security policies. The technical staff set up policies that all members of staff are expected to follow. There will be sanctions in place for those that do not follow. What we mean by sanctions is there will be some sort of punishment involved. Usually this will start off as a warning and it will escalate if there are multiple instances where the rules have been broken. As an example of the different policies and who is in charge, if there is a fire drill or fire alarm policy, there's usually a lead fire marshal responsible. For a password policy, a backup policy and internet usage, there will usually be a network manager responsible. There'll be an email policy and that will usually fall under someone under human resources. Policies must be regularly updated to protect against vulnerabilities. You may be asked in the exam for examples of some policy rules. For a password policy, it will generally be that it must have so many characters, usually eight or more. It must contain a combination of numbers, letters and characters or special characters. And you must not write down your password anywhere or tell it to anybody else. For an internet usage policy, that's usually which websites are allowed to be accessed, what happens if you visit inappropriate sites, and what are you allowed to download. For a backup policy, this will determine when data is backed up, how it's backed up, and where it is backed up. If there are any concerns, an individual must report them to the person in charge of that policy, or their line manager and then the line manager will go and speak to the person in charge of that particular policy. So in each organization, they will have to make it very clear which particular person is in charge. When a member of staff or an employee goes to work for an organization, they need to be made fully aware of all the policies and the people who are in charge. They should fully understand their own responsibilities and who to report any concerns to. Training sessions should be provided to help with clarity about each policy to make sure there are no excuses when it comes to following the rules.